All right, guys, I just got to this lake in South Jersey. It is approximately 7.15 a.m. Trout season to start until eight. So I'm gonna take this time to do a quick intro. It rained quite a lot yesterday. I don't know if the, that shut them off now, but uh, our front is rolling through. It's actually being a warm front. So it's actually, hopefully it's good. Crossing my fingers. But uh, as you guys may have seen since the beginning of this video, I've been holding this guy right here. Okay, chatterbait, the flashback mini. So I'm see if I catch some trout here. And the key thing about today's video is that there are brood stocks in here, brood stock trout. What that means is these stock trout are farm raised. And what they do is they keep these breeder size uh, trout up to about two to three years, primarily. I don't think they go over, over three years, but uh, they get really big, over 18 inches. So that's my goal. My goal is try to land some of these big guys. So I don't have a map of this place. So uh, I think there is a way to, hold up. Trail cursor, go to clear cursor, Tra overlay options, structure Genesis Live. I believe Genesis Live is, this whole thing is live. So as long as I paddle a little bit, it says zero feet because I'm uh, very low, but it technically should save. Let me just keep paddling. It looks like everyone's going deep side and this is relatively shallow. That's I see the pads here. You can see the pads here, but uh, I need to get to the channel. I think the channel swings out in this way. Here we go. We got some depth. Oh, you see that? It's colored up. So as long as I keep paddling like this, it's got colored entire lake. See that? It's coloring. So I think the key is being uh, figure out where those channels are at. And those are probably where those fish are at. So yeah, guys, I have my Genesis Live update for my Lorenz Elite TI-5, my 5TI, sorry. And uh, this is amazing. Like any places that, I, I mean, I checked the, the maps on their database repository at CMAP Genesis. You guys can check out top right hand corner uh, where you get those social maps. They're all free if you have a Lorenz product. But yeah, there, there was no um, database of this lake. And right now I'm actively live charting this whole thing. So um, right now it is 7.30. And I really don't know where the trout are at because I don't really do a lot of lake pond fishing for trout. But being able to map this, I kind of know where the channels are at. So at least I can fish those. A lot of people today. Some kayakers, some boaters, some duck hunters. Some people on the shoreline. But guys, I've completed the map, I guess you say that. Looking good. Eight o'clock. There we go. Time to go. Everyone's throwing. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, that was a hit. Guys. Man. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, I think I, I, think I found a pool. Dude, I got him. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> Dude. All right. Look at that. First trout on a mini chatterbait. That's what I'm talking about. Fish on. There we go. Oh. Got him. Got him, baby. All right, I'm being silly. Fish is underneath my seat now. All right, bud.
What's the limit? Five? Six. Six? Six of this? The fishy fishy come out wherever you are. That gotta work, right? That's a fish. That's a fish. Dude, that's a fish. Come on, hit it harder. You gotta hit harder than that. Oh! Dude, he yanked my pole. Got him. Got it. There we go. Got let it pop it up, let it drop down. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Try to bait. The heck? Dude, guys, you see this? The clip almost came off. Holy smokes. Chatterbait, come on, guys. Gotta give it good uh, clips. I'm a little scared of this right now. I say let's do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I'll try. It's okay, it's okay. Hold on, take your time, take your time. Nah, that's far out, sir. That's it? That, you're a little, that's a little far out. I don't want you to fall over. Just be safe, man. You know what I'm saying? You can take the net. I'll come right back for it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Take that and um, you just cut the line or something. No, I ain't cutting it. Okay. Yeah, you might have to. It's just just alright. It'll float. Thank you. you. Take care, man. Yep. Hey, let me see if I can get up. Give me a second. <sighs> One. Okay, Look at that. Here you go, man. Okay, you have a great day, man. Yeah, I hope so. Get that brute stock. Good karma. Let's go. Hmm. See that? Striked it a few times. Fish on. Got him. No! <laughs> uh, mm hmm. I got hit right when I landed. Another hit right there. Another hit right there. Come on. Smash it. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Bam. I know I can Nah, a jig. A jig? Mm hmm Should have done this a long time ago, guys. Just a super glue. Super glue this lure right back onto here and it should be good to go. Just a little bit up on the shank. I just got right on here. Hopefully that should stay. I mean it's wet and everything, but hope it works. So I know there's fish right there. I know there's a drop-off right right by the dock over there. Just let it sink down, slow roll it. 
I'm gonna do a couple twitches. But yeah, the chatterbait, guys. Pond lake fishing for trout, stock trout. This is a BFS, bait finesse system. Basically ultralight bait casting. This is from Suranoia, the XF50L. And also got the Suranoia bait casting ultralight rod. It's the C472UL. Got it from AliExpress and I got this from eBay. You guys can check out the link in the description below. I got a four pound test line mono, but I think since I lost some line here, I'm probably respool. I'm gonna put on some casking floral coat because I kind of want to sink a little deeper, faster. Mono floats a little bit. So uh, having like copolymer or fluorocarbon, it get it down deeper, quicker. Fish them low. That's a fish bite right there. Come on, smash it. That's another fish bite right there. Come on. Got him. Got him, got him. Not a small guy. I want to try to bait. Yeah, one of them came off. I don't know what happened. All right, guys, so it is 11.30. The bite died, my battery died. It's bluebird skies. Ah, I mean, I caught a good amount of fish. Let's take a look. All right, did I lose another one? I did lose another one. What's going on? Dude, I had another fish and it came off again. Something's not right, guys. Something's not right. You guys, I think I lost two off a stringer. I must have, uh, they must have small jaws or something. Or maybe I just dragged them over lily pads and it ripped off. But, well, I got three, man. Three on a stringer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely want to do a little bit more kayak fishing on lakes and uh, ponds for trout. And of course, I always love doing it at streams. So you guys leave me a comment below, which one you guys want to see more of. You guys want to see me catch trout in lakes like these. Maybe I'll get a brute stock. Hopefully that, that was my goal for the day, but it seems like only two brute stock were pulled out since uh, this morning. Uh, or you guys want me to do streams? Just let me know in the comments below. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. Tight lines.